Hello there. Chuck here again from Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. Uh, I'm out here on this beautiful, beautiful day. We're gonna work on this uh, this little five frame hive. I mentioned the other day, you know, I had some concerns about how she was laying and what have you, and uh, the way she wasn't laying out covering all the frame like the other queen in the big hive and I got to thinking well the bees that are in here there's not enough bees to cover all those frames there's just maybe a you know two or three cupfuls of bees in this hive and that ain't enough to cover all them frames you know to the brood and keep it warm at night uh, anyway we're gonna what I've got is I've got this other hive here and I don't have a camera person right now, but trust me, there's another little five frame hive here. And I pulled some frames with some, I also looked in this hive this morning and I noticed that they've got just very little food resources. They've got some pollen, but not a lot of nectar. Well, they don't have a lot of foragers either, you know? So I thought, well, I'm gonna have to do something to help them out a little bit, you know? Uh, so I found some problems. I don't know if it has anything to do with what I mentioned in the previous video about this five frame nuke, but if I don't try it, I'm not ever gonna know. Okay, so I've got a, I've actually got a combination of things that I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna take this little five frame here, and this box, this box right here, this hive, you can see here on the front of it, it don't have a typical bottom board and an entrance, okay? It's just got the little hole. Well, this five frame box originally was intended, I hope you could see that. I just noticed the camera was pointing more behind me. That box is, was originally intended to be a bait hive or a swarm, swarm box or whatever you, whatever you prefer to call it. We're kind of a rural community out here, but we're just not very far from the road at all. So we have tractors and cars come by. They'll be pretty loud and I apologize. I can't really do nothing about it, but hopefully, hopefully you get the gist of what I'm saying. I hope I'm talking loud enough you, to, that you can hear me. But uh, what I want to do is I want to get my, I want to get my bait hive back, okay? And I've got another five frame box over here. Okay, and so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this hive back off this box just a little bit. Or actually, I'm going to set it to the side here. Okay. Now, if I have a forger or two come in, hopefully they can find that box. If not, I'll have them set right back up here in just a minute. This time, this time I'm, I'm going to put a conventional bottom board here. I want to turn this block around because I need it pointed. I don't know if I need it pointed to the east, but I want it pointed toward the east because that's where the that's the direction the opening was pointed. So there we go. All right. Now I've got this other other five frame box. It's just like that one there. Just it doesn't have a bottom. It's going to sit on this bottom board here. All right. Just like that. There we go. There we go. That seems to be fitting up pretty good. Now then, what I'm going to do is these guys usually let me handle them pretty well without my without all my gear on, but I, I do like these gloves because I don't like getting my hands all sticky with propolis and honey, so I'm going to put these gloves on. Love these little gloves. See, all that stuff, that's what my hands would look like. Here we go. I'm gonna pull these frames out and I'm gonna transfer all these over here. And I'm gonna show you, okay. Okay, see that frame there? See how few bees? And there's the queen. There's the queen. Okay, so she's being transferred right now. Okay, so the queen is in there. This is frame number three. This is a 
I've broken up frame. I'm eventually going to swap this out, but right now they got quite a bit of brood on it. This is all drone comb in the bottom here, and I guess I should break that out, but it ain't, they ain't using it anyway, so it ain't going to hurt anything. And see, they've got brood on the back here as well. So that's frame number three. You see how few bees that we have here? Just not a lot of bees in this box. Okay, so there we are. See, not a lot of bees. There's a few more on the other side. The queen's got sense enough, and here's this is my theory. You tell me if I don't, if I'm way off base here. But that queen's got sense enough to know there's no need for her to lay eggs if there's not enough, if there's not enough bees in here to keep them warm and make sure that they grow and and uh, grow up and emerge and are fed properly and all that and grow up to be big adult bees okay and this fourth one here i didn't even know if they show any interest in it, and they haven't that was there i just threw that in there to fill up the space more or less so i'll put that back in there okay That's that, and I'm gonna put that right there. And now I think we've got foragers coming in here. I hope that's foragers, I hope it's not robbers. I do have an, uh, just to let you know, I don't have one here, but uh, I'm gonna move it. I've got an entrance reducer there with about a little three quarter inch by three eighths opening. Right now I've got it stopped up because this little box right here, okay, this little box here, it's got four, maybe five frames. I can't remember what I put in here, but I just took those out of the out of the bigger hive this morning. Okay, they've got some food resources, and they've got bees on them. Now, what I'm going to do? I can't. Do, I ain't going to just take these bees and shake them into that box. If I do, chances are very good that they might just re. Number one, one or two things going to happen. They're either going to turn around and just fly back home, or two. They're going to stay here, but they're probably going to get rebellious and kill that queen that's in there because they've been loyal to the queen in the other hive, and, you know, no two queens smell alike, or at least that's what I'm guessing. So, that being said, okay, we've got bees in there. See the entrance down there? What we're going to do is we're going to, come, we're going to, we're going to slow the process of putting these bees together. So what we're going to do, we've got that box right there, and we're going to take this newspaper, okay, and I'm using two sheets just in case, you probably only need one, but I'm going to use two, you lay that right there, right like that, that'll flatten out whenever I put the other box on, okay, and now just to get them started, Okay, you don't overdo it. Just a couple of places here, and this is just to let their kind of, their scent kind of mingle together from one half to the other. Wind's not helping me out much here either. Let me find a good spot there. Put a little slit there. See, a bee can't get through there. He'll have to chew on it, or she'll have she will have to chew on it. See, there's a little tear in that paper, and I'll put another one over here, and I guess one right about there maybe. Okay, Becca, can you hold this paper for me just a second while I get that out of the box? Just, just hold it right on there. Okay, now I'm going to pick this box up. It's got a lid on it. I'm going to leave the lid on, and I'm just going to set it up there. Okay, I hope when I pick this up, bees don't flood out the bottom. But there's a chance some will. Okay, so we're going to be as quick as we can. Be ready to move your hands and move you. Okay. Okay, hold that pepper down here. Get that. I gotta have the paper there. Okay. There we go. There we go. Let's see what's happening here. Are we on there? No. We're missing a little bit. There you go. Okay. Okay, now, let me see here. I'm going to have to shim that up. I'll shim that up. But we got started, okay? That's, that's what we're going to do. 
okay? Now the bees that come out of the bottom of this top box, and there's some left on that bottom board over there even, they'll probably end up flying back to the big hive. That's where they're, that's where they're orientated to. That to them, that, you know, that's where home is. We've got a few bees. We've got a few bees that are coming to this box. There's some with pollen. Even though I moved it over a little bit, they still recognize this. They don't recognize that opening. Okay, they're used to flying into the little, little, little one inch hole that I, one or one and eight, something, whatever size hole that is, that's what they're used to flying, and flying into. So, we're gonna move this box over here. So hopefully, just going by the location, they'll know, see there's already some bees going in that hive. Can you see that on the camera, sis? Mm -hmm. There's already some bees. So they should be able to recognize home by scent. You know, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if here in a little bit we didn't see a few bees come out on the front and start fanning their their uh, rear end, their nasonal glands to let everybody else know, hey, this is home. Now. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna let that sit there, and uh, either tomorrow or the next day, probably tomorrow. I'll probably double. I'll probably check on them tomorrow. But they're gonna they're gonna start chewing through that paper down under there. And the idea is by the time they chew through the paper, the scent of the fer the pheromones of the queen that you know that are in the hive and just the hive's general scent, you know, the two of the two groups of bees are gonna kinda mingle together and they're gonna get used to be to each other. And by the time they chew through that paper and they combine together Hey, they're gonna be they're gonna be like one big happy family. That's the plan anyway. If it don't work, we'll try something else. But this is what I could think of. Okay. This was four or five good frames of bees, and I will just really quickly, I'm not gonna do it too long because I don't want these bees to take off and go home. But uh, there's four frames, four big frames of bees in there. Okay? Four big frames. I'm gonna have to try to get this lid back on now without squashing. Get out, get out the way, ladies. Get out the way, ladies. There we go. Move on along. Uh-oh. I got her. Oh, she's okay. The gals are tough. Okay. So we got three or four good friends. Now, by the time them two combine together, that's going to be a good full box, okay? It might be a little too full of bees, okay? It might make them start thinking about swarming month from now because they're already going to have so many bees in there but in the meantime they're going to bring in some resources they're going to get that queen to lay in she's going to be she's going to get that brood she's going to start laying out them frames and really laying down the, the brood pattern hopefully and uh, we'll see a big difference in this hive and then eventually I've got a I, I've got a nice uh, eight frame hive if these grow to that size I might uh, you know, I've got a nice eight frame hive, uh, a couple of deeps and several mediums. Probably won't ever need that for one hive, but anyway, that's uh, that's the plan, you know, get these guys growed out, we'll split them off into something else. We'll either transfer them or, or split them or a little both. But, uh, excuse me, I'm stiffling, I've been out here at pollen. Wind's blowing, it's got the pollen going. I'm hoping the wind on this side of the house is not getting into the camera speaker, the camera microphone. This is just a, a, a Sony DSLR camera that we use for these videos. Don't have any place that I can find to plug in an external microphone or anything like that. It's just got the little opening on the side there where the microphone is. Many of you people use a camera similar to that and you found a good way to eliminate wind noise in that when you're doing outside videos and what have you. I'd love to get some information on that, what I can do to my camera to make that better because it kind of irritates me. It won't stop me from watching a good video, but it is irritating when you're watching a video and part of what somebody says you're trying to hear and it's drowned out, drowned out by wind noise. And I understand that's irritating and if any of you guys got any good tips, tricks or something to help make that better, Drop me a line. I'd love to. I'd love to straighten that out. You know, uh, and 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 keep the keep the wind noise out of my out of my stuff there. And uh, you know, 
if I can, I can't. Maybe I'll figure out something eventually. But uh, you know, hey, I'm looking at y'all. I, 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 I've told y'all more than one time. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what I'm doing. If y'all know what you're doing, I appreciate your help. But anyway, I don't know if I forgot anything here or not. I hope not. But we poked a hole in the newspaper. We transferred this box from its bottom board up onto here. And let me see. These boards were all supposed to be made the same. So let me see, hopefully, if this entrance reducer will fit right here. That might help a little bit too, just in case they've got they're gonna have these resources from that other hive in here now. And I don't want them to get start getting a robin attack going on here. And they can defend that little opening, I think, a lot easier than they could the whole width of the board. Now we get all that we get all this combined together and they start building up and working. They won't need that there at all. We can pull that out and they can use the whole opening, you know, and it they might be that many bees lined up across there taking off out of here at once to go find nectar uh, by that time. Who knows? You know, we got, we're supposed to be positive, right? Okay, if I forgot anything, y'all, y'all be sure and straighten me out, keep me in line. I appreciate this hive. Uh, you know, I usually wear that mosquito net veil. Uh, this hive, it may not be after... If these guys all join together and it gets built up and strong, it might be more defensive, but this hive is usually pretty good about not making me wear all my all my garb. Anyway, uh, again, sorry for the sniffles. <laughs> Y'all have a great day, and God bless.